here we have episode four of the solar project uh, this uh, particular episode is uh, installing a inverter to convert uh, 12 volt DC to 110 volts AC I selected a 750 watt inverter uh, this will be good for laptops mobile phones tablets charging batteries for electric tools small fans and any 110 volt AC electric devices not exceeding 750 watts so what came with the inverter of course here's the inverter here and let's see if we can get better light here it has two AC outlets on it and it has two USB ports and it has an on off switch now what's important when you install an inverter have that on off switch because what will happen is when even when you're not having any AC draw on the inverter, the inverter is still using energy and it will draw your battery down. So it's important to have that on off switch. Now, what else came with this uh, inverter was these cables here. They're short cables to hook up to a battery, and then you got a, also a cigarette lighter uh, to use for your 12 volt DC input. Now, I'm going to keep those because. Uh, this install here um, is going to stay with the little guy Max, at least the cables to the right here. Now, this is a 10-foot cable. It also has a fuse holder in it. And they gave uh, a 20-amp and a 25-amp fuse for this these connectors. But that uh, wire is only number 14, which should be fused with 15-amp fuse. So I'm going to put a 15-amp fuse in there. It's not going to affect anything with as far as an inverter. And then between the inverter and those cables, there are some clamps that I bought at Harbor Freight. So um, we're going to proceed to the install. And then we'll show you how I installed it. So there you go. Before I start the uh, an inverter build here, I wanted to check out the inverter. There's your inverter, 750 and watts and hooked up to the battery along with the solar controller and if over here is a dewalt uh, battery charger i have a battery in there so over here i turn this on you saw the air light come on but everything is working properly and over here the battery charger is charging the battery Here's part of the install underneath the dining room bench. Off to the left there, you see the red and black over here. I had to drill that hole there. About an inch and a half to the left of that. Uh, nothing's underneath there, so you don't have to worry about hitting anything. And then over here, this hole over here on the right, it was already there. So the green white wires, those are where the original wires. And so anyways, and then behind, I put the inverter right here in the little cubby. And then behind, you can see uh, the hole that I drilled there. So the wire ran from the inverter down through the hole, down in the cavity behind. I had to remove the TV over here. Just set it off to the side so I could get in there and work. You're going to have to tie a string on to pull the terminals up through. And they came right through with this here. I used a half inch drill for this hole and this hole over here. Here is the uh, battery propane compartment. As you can see, we've got two sets of battery clamps. One's for the solar charge control over here. The other one is for the inverter. So if we move over on this side here, I'll show you what we did. Turns out where the propane goes through, that's where I ran the wires. And it's got a nice plastic gasket there, so you don't have to worry about chafing the wires. So that's this compartment side. So let's go inside, turn on the inverter. Look up that battery charger like we did before. 
and show you how it works. Okay, we're inside the little guy Max. You see the 750 watt inverter sitting in the cubby. Over here, we've got the charger we used last time to test it to make sure it was working. So let's go ahead and plug it in. Okay, as you can see, we got the extra cable there for the inverter because I had that 10 foot cable. And we're able to put it right up on the countertop there if you want to charge your cell phone or use it for your laptop. In this particular case, we charged, we plugged it in the battery charger, and then you can see it's working. So, you really don't have to have the solar panels like we did in this build. If you've got solar panels already on the top of your vehicle and stuff, you can use the same build here to get yourself some 110 AC off your battery. So, that works out really well, too, for you. And if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe and have a nice day.